On today's spooky spot, we're going to be having a look at... We're going to be having a look at Van Helsing. And you're saying spot... Oh, wait a minute. You had me with the other spooky spots. How is Van Helsing a spooky spot? Have you seen the movie? Terrifyingly bad. Terrifyingly bad. But again, bad aside, as scary as it was as a bad movie, it did actually have monsters in it too. So for that reason, we're going to do a spooky spot on the Van Helsing figures. And of course, we're going to be starting those reviews with Van Helsing himself. We got Hugh Jackman up at the top. Oh, Hugh, if you only knew how bad this movie was going to be. Maybe maybe they would have got maybe he would have said, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna hold out for a Wolverine movie, and then that'll be bad. Down below we've got Van Helsing. Now this one comes with spinning Tojo Blades. Tojo Blades. Um, brought to us from the good folks at Jack's Pacific. On the back. Are the figures in this wave. There's now there were basic figures, there were also deluxe figures with play sets. The basic figures, we had Van Helsing, we had Frankenstein's monster, Dracula Beast, we had the Wolfman, we had Dracula with flying feature, and we had Anna Valerius. Mmm, Kate Beckinsale. You, you were about the only thing, my friend, that was good about Van Helsing. <clears throat> Down below, we got some deluxe figures as well. We got Velkin, Dracula, Van Helsing, and Frankenstein's monster. You know what, the, this by the way, a little did you know, this by the way is actually the picture of Hugh Jackman after he first, when he watched the dailies for, for that day. He, he, he said, what? This is, this is what the, I can't do an impression of Hugh Jackman, but he said, this is what Van, Van Helsing's going to be. Is it, is it too late to get out of my, con it is too late to get out of my contract. Okay. At any rate, that's packaging on Van Helsing. What we're going to do is we're going to open this up and be prepared to be scared at the sight of Van Helsing. Stay tuned! Now everybody, I've put uh, a, a care package underneath your chairs. Everybody who is watching this, check under your chairs now. You will find yourself a care package. Inside the care package is several articles of reading, of course, as well as a complimentary air freshener. I would suggest that everybody get the air freshener ready in, in case this Van Helsing figure ends up stinking up the joint. So be warned, Van Helsing figure stinking up the joint, please see your complimentary air freshener for relief. All right, let's have a look at Van Helsing out of package. As you can see, I've already got him with his hat on. And with his hat on, he actually looks pretty cool. Um, I think so far the thing I like the most about this figure is his hat. <laughs> That's about it so far. Take the hat off. Okay, yeah, it's not NECA. It's not NECA standards. But I would say it's not a bad Hugh Jackman. It, you know, it, I always say it's not a bad something if you look from a distance and squint. No, no, he's not bad. He definitely isn't bad. Um, I definitely think, though, the hat works very well on the figure. He kind of got that low, low riding kind of... I like that. Now, Van Helsing also has... Now, they handed this out to Hugh Jackman at the beginning of the movie. They said, in case things start to stink. He didn't understand why. I think he does now. He does also come with a, a mask. If only they handed this out to the. If only they handed out this to the moviegoers that actually went into the theater, like this guy right here. Perhaps we could have also. We could have also benefited from these as well. I'm making these terrible. I'm slamming this movie. I know the movie wasn't bad. It wasn't good either, but it wasn't bad. Um, he's got a gas mask, more of a mask, I guess. It does look neat does look kind of cool. Oh, by the way, I'll take the hat off so you guys can see it. Yeah, not too bad. <clears throat> I'll put his hat back on so he looks... There you go. Look at him, eh? 
Now he looks mysterious. And then he has Kojo blades. What, what, what were they? Tojo blades? I don't even remember anymore. But he's got these very cool little blades. Um, you can also put them in his hand. It's to be expected. You put them in his hand. Now, I find they didn't fit. I've played around with these a little bit. They don't fit the best. Probably helps that I put the wrong blade in his hand. Let's try this blade. Put it in his hand. See, the biggest thing I have issue-wise with these is the fact that these these little hand handles with a little trigger here are actually a soft plastic. So they actually don't sit in his hand very well at all. If you can get them in his hand, consider yourself lucky. And somebody's probably saying, well, hey, wouldn't that trigger be on the other side? Yes, that is very possible. It is possible. But they are actually both the same way. So there you go. Um, see if we can get that in his hand. See, I've spent all this review joking about the movie, and now, my luck, I'm not even going to be able to get the blasted blades in his hand. All, f all five of you watching this, I'm sure, have already turned off. They just don't want to sit in his hand, I find. They just don't want to sit in his hand. There we go. And there we've got Van Helsing with his blades. Not looking too bad, really. Um, the idea... Every toy back in the day had its gimmick. If I can get the blade back in his hand, I'll show you the gimmick on this one. Um, the idea is there's a little button on the back, right there. The idea is when you push this button, his hand, watch the magic, his hand springs forward. It lost some impact, I know, because I already lost one of these blades, but... They just don't want to sit in his hand. Perhaps the scariest part of this review is the fact that these blades don't want to sit in his hand. There we go. But that's all it does. And unfortunately, I guess being that his jacket is in the way, these blades probably will fall out quite often. Bend his, his elbow out a bit. Yeah, see? They just want to fall out. But I'll give you guys a close-up of the blades. They are a soft plastic... As I mentioned, the handle, look at the handle, just to kind of give you guys an idea. How is he supposed to hold this? He does it, that's, that's what it is, he won't. So, he does come with the blades. The feature, I'll take the blades out, the feature itself is pretty mediocre. There you go. It doesn't even really have any force behind it, it's just kind of like, eh. Um... Yeah, okay. Um, but in the way of his articulation, at least there's articulation to be said. We're just going to take his, his hat off, his mask off, so you guys can see. In the way of his articulation, he does have a swivel in the head. Oh, careful, don't turn it all the way. We would hate to, hate to kill Van Helsing. Um, of course, his arms have this gimmick. Now, you can't really move the arm. You can move the arm up more, but... Then it locks into place. And now he's, he's... He could be fleeing. He's like, oh my god, a sequel? Oh! Um, but it's one of those, wherever you lock the arm, when you activate the feature, it'll extend from that point. Um, at least they've got articulation in the elbows. You can bend at the elbow. You can also rotate the arm. And you can also rotate the hand. And he's got these little trigger fingers to help you with the holding of the blades, but you know that doesn't work. Um, he does also have standard articulation in the legs, and at least he can bend at the knee. Uh, finally, there's articulation in the foot. Uh, no swivel, but just to bend up and down. Blasted lock in the place. There we go. So there, my friends, is Van Helsing. We'll put his hat back on, give him some dignity. I gotta say, though, ripping the movie as much as I have, even in this review, the figure isn't bad. It actually isn't that bad, really, at all. I'm not fond of the gimmick, yeah. I personally would just probably have him display with the blades, kind of like that. 
but the figure isn't bad. Certainly these were peg warmers when they came out. Toys R Us, I know in my local area, couldn't even give these away. Um, but they are now out of stores. By the way, I give you guys a turnaround of his jacket. His jacket actually is nice too. This nice rubbery kind of plastic. Uh, the detailing is good too. I mean, it's a solid figure. It's just a shame it was tied to such a horrible movie. Today's spooky spot, we're looking at poor Van Helsing. We're looking at Van Helsing from the movie of the same name. The movie was kind of bad. Okay, it was a lot bad. But the figure isn't too bad. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more spooky spots to come. And I'll see you next time. Woo!